All right, Coach, 15 hits in the win at Old Dominion Sunday. We back it up with 14 more in the win tonight. Talk about the offense. Pretty good. You know, really good on Sunday with under bad conditions as we talked about before. And, you know, Monday's our off day, so we really can't do a whole lot, if anything. Nothing with them really on Monday. Monday's during the season. And had a bunch of guys get out here and get some stuff done on their own. I was in the office doing some things, and Coach Rochelle's out recruiting, and Coach Hall was out recruiting. I ended up going out later yesterday to go to a high school game, but saw a bunch of guys kind of filtering through the locker room and getting out here and getting some work done on their own. So that's good. That's a positive. Um, and thought we did some good things offensively. Um, thought we had a pretty good approach at, at times, and, and uh, you know, we can continue to get better on top of what we're doing right now. Talk about TJ. Been struggling last couple of weeks. Four hits tonight. Kind of turning around. What's someone like him do to turn around his offensive Have you seen performance? Have his hair? Yeah. He, and you were on the bus with him. His right. hair is bad. His dad told him a couple weeks ago at Middle Tennessee to cut his hair, and he still hasn't got a cut yet. So um, He's got a chance to be a good player. You know, He's really aggressive, switch hitter that's, that's aggressive in the box, and uh, we just got to make sure we keep him swinging downhill because when he swings downhill and gets good pitches to hit, he does a pretty good job. Some pretty outstanding defensive plays today. Do you see that as you know a sign of them progressing and maturing? Well, we have moved guys around a whole lot here the last couple, two or three weeks, and uh, we've talked about it a hundred times. That you know Matt Creech's injury kind of threw things out of whack. Matt's a great kid, and, and uh, you know, he's he just he's not able to play. So you know we tried several different guys at shortstop in his place, and you know, a few weeks ago we just decided to stick with basically with, with the lineup that we've had. Um, for the last two, three weeks, and, and it's, it's worked a little bit better. Guys are getting a little bit more comfortable. You have a little bit of a break um, in between conference play. You get about a week and a half with games in between, obviously. But how do you take that time to kind of regroup and get back into conference that's a, play? That's a great question. You know, we're playing Evansville this weekend, and Evansville has a left-handed pitcher that's projected to be a first-round pick. So I don't know if that's good scheduling or not on our part, but it's – you know, we're really, really uh, happy that they've decided to come down and play us, and we're going to try to get four games in. You know, they don't have to do that. It's a bus ride for them. It's in the middle of their conference season, too, and, and really have a lot of respect for their coaches and their program that they're willing to come down and play us two games on Friday and one on Saturday and one on Sunday. And you know, we got the fireworks still going on Friday, so that's going to be a great deal. We've got the football scrimmage uh, on Saturday at noon, and then at 2 o'clock it'd be great for everybody to come from the football game over here and and hopefully set an attendance record here at Hayes Stadium. That would be fantastic. We've had great crowds here, you know, since 2008, really, when the stadium opened. It'd be a great uh, way for us to to not only help us on the field, but help us recruiting. We got several recruits in town this weekend. Uh, several guys that are going to be making decisions here in the next week or two, and we need Niner Nation to come out after the football game and come on over here to Hayes Stadium and help us out. Shive got through the first four innings. Rather yeah. quickly, struggled there in the fifth. What do you think of his outing tonight? It's hard, it's hard to do both. We've talked about it before. He played so well this weekend, but it's hard for him to do both. It's hard for anybody to do both. And I, I thought he was a little bit fatigued today. We haven't seen that you know, out of him yet this year. He's a little bit fatigued. Um, you know, He's got a lot of academic stuff that he gets taken care of on Mondays. And, and he wasn't nearly as good today swinging the bat or pitching as he, as he has been, but he competes. And that's one thing that, that Corbin's done from day one that he stepped on campus. And, I know we respect him as coaches, and our, I know all of our players have respect for the way he competes every day. Uh, now winning four of the last six, uh, what's that do to turn around the season a little bit here going into the Four and two is better than 0 oh and six. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's a lot better. So, uh, again, we've talked about it. We think we're making progress. We've still got a ways to go to be a really good team, but we're seeing great competition on the weekends. You know, Upstate's had some struggles here and there, but they've, they've played well on the weekends in their conference play. And, you know, we just – we see a really high level on the weekends, really high level to play, and and we just need to keep practicing the right way and keep doing our best to try to win as, as many of these midweek games as we can.